Hi, I'm Dr. Jung Gi Hong, the Chief Advisor at Action here in Seoul, Korea. Just would like to uh, share a couple of things with you, especially related to training athletes. I've been training so many athletes here in Action. In training athletes, coaches and performance trainers have a tendency or they have this temptation to bring more uh, exercise to the athletes to basically make them better. So sometimes they think this, uh, this way, or they have this thought, hey, what I've been doing, uh, some of the exercises, but these are not maybe uh, enough to make our athletes better. Let me tell you one thing. When you uh, bring some new exercise or uh, in the outside, maybe health fitness feels so-called sexy and trendy exercises. I don't have any problem when you add or bring up those exercises which are utilized in a health fitness field, but also it could be utilized in a training athlete setting. But I want you to think about this. Whatever the exercise that you bring to the athletes, as a coach, as a performance trainer, you need to think about a very important factor, transferability. Are these going to be transferable to what they're going to be doing? In the game, in the practice. We got a lot of different exercises. Okay, I don't, you know, uh, victimize a TRX or any other kettlebell exercises. Those are good exercises, but you need to think about this. Whatever the exercise you do, is this gonna be transferable to what they're gonna be doing? Is this exercise too complex for my athletes? Are these exercises too complicated for my athletes? Which means when you add complicated exercise to the training program, I don't have any problem. It's good, but sometimes for a tennis player, they need to make a faster transition from the center to the side when their opponent returns. They need to get to the left corner as fast as they could. But if you add some of the exercises between where your athlete stands and where they want to get to, for example, ladder movements and the plyo movements, they don't have a time to go through those. So sometimes when I see those kind of exercises, athletes are doing those exercises, um, I think this way, are they gonna make their metabolic system getting higher, energy consumption going up? I don't think so. I believe you wanna make your athletes better, right? Sometimes our athletes, sorry to say this, they need to go over very simple movements and a pattern over and over. Don't be, don't be fascinated by these newly introduced sexy and trendy exercises. It's more the important thing is your philosophy and your logic to make your athletes better. Remember coaches, there will be always adaptation. When your athletes do certain movements, certain movements pattern and exercise, there gotta be adaptation. What we want is positive adaptation. When they do those exercises, we want them to get faster. So think, let's think. Are my athletes going through these exercises that I just introduced, are they gonna get faster? Are they gonna get this positive adaptation? Or are they gonna get this negative adaptation? So, coaches, performance trainers, we are a little bit different from the just the health fitness exercise group. We are working for our athletes. So what you're doing really matters. And I want you to be very smart in choosing exercises. Thank you guys. I look forward to communicating with you soon. Bye.